Hello, my fellow citizens. This is Sir Six with a basic overview on the ship scanning changes. Here is what you need to know. Now, with the release of 3.5, there were some alterations to the ship scanner or ping. Now, for those of you who are new to the game, your ping is basically a ship scanner that assists you on locating objects or ships beyond radar range. It also gives you good information, which I'll touch upon in a bit, and also used in conjunction with mining. However, in 3.4 and previous builds of Star Citizen, the scanner used to be able to reach out to, I believe, like 60 kilometers or maybe a tiny bit more. However, looking at the roadmap for 3.5 and with the implementation they just did, they apparently added false positives as well as they cut the scanner range in half. And what I mean by in half is now I believe the effective range you can go is no more than 30 kilometers from any given place. So if you are a new backer, the way the scanner works is if you are using mouse and keyboard, you would press tab. Tab opens up this big, interesting looking screen that you have in front of you. When you're going to scan, you need to hold down the right mouse button. Holding this down spools your ping. Spooling until the circle is filled gives you the maximum scan range possible. Overclocking your ping component will expedite the spooling process. So, holding your mouse down all the way and spooling it up will achieve you roughly a 30 km ping in any direction. Doing a half spool gives you roughly a 15 km range. And half of that will give you about a 7.5 kilometer range. Also, they change how you can focus your scanner. The focus ring allows you to change the direction you are scanning in. So what I mean by this is with your scroll wheel, you'll see the whole scan reticle go from this large white circle down to this tiny little circle. The smaller you make the circle, the more the scan goes from being a full 360 pulse to a 180 pulse and then a 90 degree pulse and then It'll just be a tiny little ball that'll shoot a scan ping straight out in front of you, allowing you to home in on a certain object. Now, when you find something, you're going to get this box. And with this box, you're going to have a distance that you are away from it. It will update as you get closer, but eventually this box will go away. So you're going to have to periodically pulse it until you're right on top of the location and your radar picks up your target. Or you visually find the object you were searching for. However, last time I checked, this does not assist in fighting drug labs or any anomalies that CIG might have hidden throughout orbital bodies or space. An example of when you would use your scanner is when you're a bigger ship and you're trying to track down a smaller ship or ship with stealth components. You're going to have a very hard time picking it up on your radar if they're far enough away. But if they are within 30 kilometers, you can locate them through the use of your ping. And once you're close or on top of them, your ship radar will pick them up and then they'll be in your crosshairs. Now, once a ship is within your crosshairs, you can then put your tiny little target over it while still in the ship scanner mode. And then you hold down the left mouse button and you'll see this tiny little blue scanner bar start to increase. And with that, it'll give you the ship's information. It will tell you who was flying the ship, the total health, and any other life forms that might be on board. It used to tell you what kind of cargo that ship was carrying. So for pirates, they can see what commodities a person has on board. However, I'm not sure if that went away or if this is just a bug because I've been unable to find out what other players have been carrying within their ship. And I also will figure out in the future, unless somebody already knows that maybe a Hornet tracker or any other sort of recon ship will have a better sensor array when it comes to scanning ships with ping. So to wrap this up, once again, this was just a basic overview and I'll continue to analyze this and give you guys my thoughts as I figure out more things about this game that I enjoy playing so much. If you personally got something out of this video, then I would ask you to consider liking it and possibly sharing it with a buddy or anybody who you would think would need this information. And consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. But until next time, fellow citizens, I will see you on the flip side.